Welcome back, guys. My friend plays Acolyte of the Altar. Let's jump into a new game. What do we do? Do we try the rushes? And do we do both? An army of imps, captained by mountain champions, rather just take down beasts before they can react. Quick game, hey? Okay, let's have a look at what we got when we go the reds. Okay, so we've got lose one attack. I lose one attack. Oh, it's got five damage. And we get the crab straight away as well. We get a one, a three, one. That's going to be tricky because we're not going to have a card to play on the first turn. Always. Um. Okay, so spells. Oh, we can attack with them as well straight away. Very good, very good. Okay, so he puts one down, and the swipe's going to be the hard thing. So do we wait one turn to put this guy down? Because he's going to be swiping this turn. So he won't even be able to attack. No, it's next turn. So you can attack once. That's always going to be a heal attack. I'll put it down. This will go... Or maybe cannon fodder. Prod will do one damage there. Prod will do one damage next turn and then swipe. Um, so we could do a 2-2. Two, two. We could do this to get one lot of five damage in. I think we wait. Uh, the swipe's pretty tricky for us. So now everything is going to die. Um, Alright. So we'll bring out another one. The three. We could do the three three here. Alright. All right, 20 health left. We lose one dude. Do take two damage. Can't help it. Can't help it. Okay, so now we got this guy out here. Shouldn't have put him first. Not sure if it'll matter, though. He loses on the first turn as well. I couldn't attack with them. What is this? This is a reaction every turn. So that's an end of turn effect. Okay. Now we've got the five fire that we can bring out. What is cannon fodder? Two ones. Ch and with charge. Summon. Give me plus one attack this round. Okay. So they got three, six damage. How much have we got here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um... Plus six, 14. And we'll be able to attack with them next turn. But then this one will do three damage to a random person. I think it's better just to get a five five out here. Then okay. swipe's gonna deal with those two. Can we get two more people? We can only get one more in here. Do that next time. Oh wait, where have we got? We've got enough. I think five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we do. We've got it, guys. All right, just two life down. It's not too bad. Now, life's always an issue. I think we gain one life every time we defeat someone. Yeah, we're on nineteen now. Do ten damage. And inflict all enemy abilities with wildfire. Deals two to three damage each turn randomly. Afterwards, it is very small chance to spread to another ability. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Deals six damage amount is 20% of the enemy's maximum life. Deal three damage amount is 10% of the enemy's life. Okay. 
Should we go with the epic? Seven mana, though. That's a long time. I feel like that, we want to just rush them. That's every one of the enemy's abilities. Two to three damage. Okay. We'll give it a go. Okay. Turn start. Add a temporary earth cover's chains to your hand. Two mana. Grant a creature plus two health. It can't attack. Okay, so that's every turn. Temporary, though. Okay, that's pretty good. Each time a creature strikes for exactly one damage, give but one borrowed life. Ooh. See, we're not going to be attacking for one damage very often. Be very good. But I think we do this. It's a pity, because it'd be really good to get borrowed life. But we can use this to keep our dudes alive. If they were going to die anyway. Run a creature plus two health, that's right. Okay, okay. But it does cost two mana, which is quite a lot. Okay, so I gotta remember what I have and what's gonna come out. So we've gotta we got a koi, a tiny discipline, swarm them, and a crumbling. A lot of cards. I guess this is one damage. Maybe I should have. Because I'm always going to get a shield straight away. I could even play a Koi straight away. And start getting some more shielding. Maybe that was my opportunity to... Stop taking some damage straight away. So this guy. My new card. These prods are going to be a pain in the ass. So here I could use this ability to give him two health to get other cards out. I could do that on this guy next turn and get this guy out. With this as well, I could probably keep this guy alive. Oh no, because he can't attack then. Working the crowd. What does this one do again? Okay, so this is the new card. Prodding targets you directly this turn. Oh, prodding targets you directly this turn. So this won't attack these guys this turn. Is that what it's saying? It's going to do two damage to me and not my minions. Might do a one, this one, and or this one, and a... This one? So from what that says, it's going to target me with prodding. Let's have a look if that's the case or not. Yeah, okay. That's to his disadvantage. So we can, um... We've got all these cards, don't we? No, this one. So this turn we can actually do this. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, it's so strong, isn't it? Because we would have killed him anyway. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah. But then this just adds so much damage. Okay, so we took another two damage. They're eking away at us. I don't want to spend it though. 10% of... It's not bad. If they got 100 health, we're doing 10 damage. But it's just a little bit of a waste, isn't it? Could re roll to see what else we can get. Discard your lowest cost creature, I gain their stats. Inflict wild fire on target enemy ability. See, this would be 
probably better than that legendary because you're just starting the process at two instead of seven. And by this time, they've probably got full ignites. Maybe. I don't know what the chance is. Maybe 10%. We see how this goes. It'd be good if you get it on the um, the guy that loses attack. Now, there doesn't seem to be too many different things. So this will give us scarabs, bugs, or whatever they are. Forgot what this gives us, 100%. Lift burdens, lose seven life. Seven life. Yeah, okay, so I definitely should have played the dice game and got the Scarab Beetles. So here we go. So we can play this straight away and grab this. No, because this is the lowest cost. So that's the problem. We're going to get lots of low-cost creatures. Oh, this is horrible. You wonder, but unlike other... Okay, I'm sorry, it happens before the creature deals damage. So we've literally... We can't do any damage here. I guess we just leave them there for now. Star beams, don't they do like 12 damage? This is annoying. Oh, I can play this guy. I'm only going to get one attack in. Because what, this gets two life? So I get one attack of five, and that's all I can do at the moment. Piercing gaze, one damage directly to me. So this, there's only one of these that I've seen, but this just cripples us. I guess we play this because it's the only thing we can play and then this does six damage is it better to wait one turn so we can get one more damage in probably we're going to be waiting until we we get to the um the seven cost which is going to do so much damage to us We'll do this. Okay. Seven damage. We'll need this at some point, but not right now. Ouch. Okay, this is, this is good. Both of those are going to die, but we don't have room for another, unfortunately. Ouch. We're going to have to try and get some life back. Seven is great. So we'll get one more seven next turn, and then two of these will die. We're just slowly getting destroyed, though. Fourteen this turn. Two more damage needed. Which we can do next turn for sure. Okay, well we got him, but we took a bit of damage. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I don't think I could have done that any better. Uh, when I survive damage, summon an Impling. Oh. I like that. And we can put the, um, that works well with our two cost. Give him extra life all the time. Getting prodded. Strike lightning. Strike with lightning every time you deal over five damage at once. Okay, that's good. Choose your first draw each flight from four choices. Oh, so what happens when we get your spirit? Everything gives draw one less card on fight start. Okay. Now we need to get rid of our burdens. Okay. That's a pretty good start, I guess, because we get this. What is all this? You one damage if this kills a creature, I gain three life and increase stomach content. Um, he's just gonna kill everything really quick. Okay, so we got stomach content. Decrease by one each other turn. Start of turn. If stomach content is 10 or more, it bursts and I die. If stomach content is zero, I starve and I die. If stomach content is less than three, deal six dam, six overkill. Okay. Deal two to all attack. It's, oh gosh. So if I play this, he survives for one turn. The, what, how am I going to do this? Because he'll die directly the next turn. So tricky. Gains three life at some point by one. And this goes down by... One every other turn. And I can't just sit there doing nothing, I don't think. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's even worse. I should have just waited. Damn! Damn! What about the Counter Strike? Even though you've read it. Oh man. I find it so much harder with this this type of character. Okay, so he's gonna do two damage to me. His hunger's still at five. I think it's easier trying to get his hunger to ten. We just like put minions out there for him to swallow. So he's not going to actually do any damage to me if we do it this way, as long as we've got enough minions for him. Okay. We just keep giving him two minions a turn and then nothing happens to us. Okay. That'll be six and seven. And then these will be just standards. I guess this could be okay, but 
We need more minions. At least we got that guy that whenever he gets hit, he summons a new minion. That probably will help us out. Let's start. Let's start the fire. Why did that do damage to me? Oh, he's got retail. He's got knuckle breaking against me. Harsh. Wait, he's got 13 damage? Also, it just does it instantly at the start. It doesn't do it every time he uses one. Man. So he got 10, he blows up anyway. But our health. So low. Boom. Okay. Give me minus five, minus five this round. Dominate one. Summon two beast tormentors. Cards would dominate randomly kill your creatures for entering play. Ravagers love to show off their strength. Randomly kill one of our creatures. Right, everyone plus one attack. And he comes up the front, so he's going to die quite quickly. But we get a, f a quick attack. We've got a lot of weak ones. What is he going to summon? A 4-3. Oh, that's it, though. Oh, two of them, though. Yeah, it's probably worth it. This guy's decent. So he's going to be a 2-2 two -two on the first round, and then he'll become a 7-7. Seven -seven. I guess that should be okay. Okay. Just... Someone just needs to make a game and make all the shiny gold stuff really bad cards. So I'll just grab them all anyway. Alright. Bungle Flurry. Befuddling Spores. Alright. 13 life. Wind up punch. I think that does like through damage. The the problem we're gonna get is yeah, those overkill damage, it doesn't go to the next minion, it just goes straight to my health. Alright, so we got flip the health and attack of a creature. And then deal two damage will trigger two times. Oh jeez. Everything's just gonna fall over. So we can give a character plus two health, but it's going to get swapped anyway. This might be a good time to give him two health. Right, our creature. So that'll stop us taking damage and he might live. Oh, I didn't attack. What, what the hell am I doing? The aim of the game, Adam, to attack. I wish it would give you a warning. Like, can we turn that on? Oh, we did. He took the he took, he took the full hits. This guy's tough. Um, there's no there's no option to get them to remind me. So how are we going to get through this? This is just going to die. And then you got this wind up punk. If no, if I took no damage last turn, deal three damage to you. I can't do damage to you, mate. You keep attacking me. We're going to take three damage here. Well, actually, this guy becomes a five. So we can play him. Jeez. Destroy us so quickly here. Oh, this guy's good. Here we go. So this should get us out of this horrible situation we're in. 
Oh no, she's gonna friggin' change his health. Oh! Man, we're dead. I just, I feel like we couldn't do, we, we haven't, we couldn't do anything from what we're playing to get better. This could just be dead. I think this is too high. Two damage, two to three times. I think it should be two damage, two times. Not have that chance to do three. Because we just can't do anything. So this we can play at the start. But nothing we've got will attack straight away. We've got we've got through this this round, but now we're screwed. I should have played that this last round, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna take the extra three damage. I'm dead. Damn, we could have got through it, and I did stuff up just then. So. I am on it. Defeated. All right, we'll try to do the same thing. Like maybe it'd be better to put one in here. So this just gives us a one-one vent crawler. Whereas this gives us the like the extra life. It, I guess it depends on what you get in the run we I can't remember all the cards like we can probably go back and have a look so we're probably I don't know what we're looking at getting so this card here is probably from the main my red one And then these cards here are probably from our um, secondary, maybe. Whereas our secondary from the infected thing. The problem is we want to be jumping on them as the red team, not waiting for ages. I'm going to try and do the same thing. We'll try and do a red red. If I had taken that borrowed life, I don't know if that would have helped masses. Oh no. Guy's pretty bad, isn't he? Yes. Oh no. All right, so there's no use playing this yet. Actually, this guy wasn't too bad. We just keep summoning things each turn. But we're gonna get hit by this, which is a pain. Do we play this? Don't think so. But actually, maybe. Because we've got enough to play. And I should have waited to play this next time he's only have one health unfortunately <sighs> no use playing that guy we could just put some more fodder at the front this turn and then play this guy and start getting some good tax in We'll get an extra one damage by waiting here. That last turn. Then we get the 5-5 five, five here. Just 
just that one damage every turn. Okay. I guess we play this guy as well, actually. Another damage. We're going to take like five damage. All right, so he's dead next turn. And that's that. Five damage on our first dude. So the only thing is, I'm thinking, like, is it too hard to win sometimes? Even if you play optimally, you end up dying? I'm not sure. There's lots of options here that I could be making wrong. Fearless. What does Fearless do? Creatures gain more attack depending on the base life of the enemy. Okay. Base max life of the enemy. Okay, so he gets more and more life depending on the, how much life they have. So he could gain 10 life. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And he's got 4 health. Okay, play. Grant me plus 1 plus 1 for each infested or ignite knighted enemy ability. I like how it's linked between the two cards two races when you infest an enemy ability i deal damage equal to my attack so he'd be amazing if you had infest as well summon a lone ladybug oh look at this this is like stuff that's working together now who did this fearless Alright, burdens, what do we got? When a creature of frontline give it plus two health? No. I don't know how well good that is. Increase your starting hand size by that. So it's weird because this one kind of negates one burden. That's cost three. Okay. Alright, just ramming and biting and things. Attacking our face. Oh, the ram hits another character. That's right. That's harsh. There's no good counter. He's just going to kill everything on the board all the time. We'll have some attack. I guess we're going to get a, a single attack next turn. So may as well just use it to our advantage. Definitely attack. That will help out. And we did not, we, we missed an attack at one point, so that might have saved us last time. But trying to get our health back. So Ram next turn, so we want to try to keep this guy alive. So if I play two creatures instead. But he's going to bite us anyway, so it'll kill that. And then he's going to ram these two, so these are all dead. Okay. Then we get this guy out. Or maybe we get these two out. And then next time we'll put one of those, which will get us some more damage. Okay, that works. I think he's dead next turn. And we took no damage this time. Okay, good, good, good.
play inflict an enemy ability with wildfire this would be end up doing quite a lot of damage okay we'll do this it's an expensive card though so now This, I, I remember the images of what this is. So this was get rid of our burdens, but take seven damage, which just can't do it. This is restore three life. Or claim that filling feast, which is always going to be better if you can deal with it. There's ten life. We only took two damage, which is the least. That's a harsh start. We've got so many cards, we may as well just play this one one. I know the swipe comes in pretty soon. But we've got little prods. We're trying to mitigate damage. When this dies, what happens again? It does two damage to me. Two direct damage to me. So there's going to be a swipe this turn, but we can bring this guy out. Wait, what? Creatures gain more attack depending on the base max life. Is it flying all over the place? Three and one. What's going on here? It's the base max life. This guy's got 30, doesn't he? Is that buggy? I feel like it just should stay at one point. Interesting enough, we actually give this this extra attack damage. Okay, so we we definitely just play this. Now this this forsaken thing. When you forsake a card, it removes one card of the same name from your deck list permanently. If there are none left, forsake has no effect. So is it saying, is it saying if I have two of these in my deck, when I play this, it just destroys the other one anyway. I can only ever have one of these in my deck. I think that's what it means. Whoops. Hey. Okay, so swipe's coming next turn, so we can play this. Not even next turn. Should have attacked first before I played that. Swipe's not coming next turn, but the next turn after, so we play this. Oh, there you go. Get killed by your own lantern, mate. Okay. Now, this one, I'd probably not. A crumbling gargoyle. Just do 20% of the, the dude's health. Oh, he summoned... Five ones. I feel like there's so many things that just kill one health minions, though. There's so many things that need... Well, not so many things, but there is that, that one skill at the end where we needed 
five or three or more attack damage on an enemy. He'll summon it straight away, so it's kind of worth it. Okay. All right, so Burden. Uh, strike with Lightning. That's quite good. Adds a card with customizable stats to your hand. What? When you do five damage at once. So we've got those golems that never attack with five. They always attack with four. Probably not needed. We'll do this. Is that just a koi? Is it just adding a koi to our deck? Ink drinker. Play. Deals one damage. Inspect me while in hand. Then click edit to attack. My edit attack health or damage dealt. What? So if I do three, wait, what has he got? Knuckle break. Iron cup. Do you think it'll raise his mana by one every time I do one? Expect me while in hand, then click edit to edit. Click to edit attack, health, or damage dealt. How? Let's put three. Oh. Oh, okay. So I can click anywhere. What? Three for four, four. Okay, it's not bad. And you can kind of do what you want with it. And you can do it any time. That's pretty cool, guys. Okay, so we've got Knuckle Breaker. We need to do damage every two. Oh, no. Counter attack deals two damage or attack. Wind up punch. And oh. Take one less damage from attacks. So I guess what we'd want to do is we're going to put two attack on this guy. What does that do? We'd get him for two. I feel like you can even kind of like put four for free. Yeah. So if I just put two attack on here. I can play it straight away and stop. Well, I need it next turn. Okay, okay, okay. So there's no use doing everything that's not going to do two damage. <laughs> and then gulp. I don't know what gulp does. So what can we get with two? So this is good. Deals two damage. So then this will stop the wind up punch dealing damage to us. If we then do two and three. Costs three now. I guess we just put one there. Maybe we can get one more because the knuckleback will kill him next turn. But at least this guy can then do two damage and do and stop getting that wind up punch. For next turn. Okay. He doesn't even need the two damage, so maybe we'll do one. Okay. So we don't get hit by that. Okay. Then we can do this. What does gulp do?
Okay, so we don't take the damage. This thing will summon this golem straight away. And this deal four damage if this kills a creature gain one one life. Okay. This is actually fine because he doesn't kill the first minion each turn. Might as well put this up here. Oh no, he does kill it every three turns. Yeah, okay. Doesn't that happen to the first unit only? Oh no, to all attackers. Okay, we got this. May as well do this. Yeah, we got this easy. I don't know what the chance of it spreading is. It doesn't say. When it's such like a puzzle based game, it's interesting that it doesn't tell you what the chances of it spreading are. Good stuff. This seems good. Lose two life. Play. Grant me attack equal to the number of other creatures you have. Only attack. Do this guy. Okay, straight in. Nothing. We didn't get anything from that. Okay, summon a random jellyfish as a new ability. Okay, that's right. All sorts of stuff goes on. I think the longer we can't, we the longer we don't play this guy, the better off we might be. Deal one damage to you directly. Well, that's annoying. Passive. When I take damage, remove tokens from the oldest jellyfish. Jellyfish with no tokens are left to destroy. Okay. All right. What do we got next? Hungry. I'm gonna eat one of my dudes each turn. You one damn if this kills a creature gain through life. Well that's annoying. That's gone already? Is it doing two? What? Remove tokens. Oh for the amount of damage I do. Oh, he's screwed now then. Okay. So he's going to... Oh, but this got Stinging Swarm, whatever this is. Oh, then he's going to do another one. He's going to lose everything every single time. I really wanted to play this, but... Maybe do this. I think this is still good. So we've just got him now. This is so much different to our last one.
can't fly anything. The only problem is we're going to start losing a lot of attack damage. But I feel like that's fine. They'll end up killing my dudes if that happens. I think we've got them soon. All right now. Good, good, good. That's good. We lost no life. Well, we lost one or whatever. But we're going to gain it back. Um, when I survive damage, I deal one damage to my... I deal damage equal to my attack. Can we increase this attack somehow? Hmm. Kind of, I guess it's kind of good having a front, front line to jump in sometimes just to change things up and then extra damage on all of us, but I think maybe this one. What are we aiming to do? We can't sacrifice anything to give life, to, to, to give attack to anyone. We'll take it. So this gives us more scarabs, and this gives us that healing. And is it just for the healing? So it looks like there's only. Wait, why is there two of these? Is that is this what's available in this run? We got a trick hunter. We got the false prophecy, which is to destroy stuff what we could do is we could grab a trick hunter now to grab one of these later to get rid of our burdens and then we heal ourselves with the trick hunter afterwards because we don't have to use the card we can just take that and leave it in our hand Oh, there's two of these guys. Oh no, this is alright. This is just a single attack back. Do I attack? Oh, we took the full amount of damage. That's a bit unfortunate. We took seven damage at least. Um, Piercing Gaze does one damage every turn. I don't think we do damage yet because he just dies anyway. Can do it later on. Restore one life to self every turn. Okay. I guess I can play these guys and just do attack with one of them each turn. gonna take one damage a turn so we're actually gonna need to play this anyway we just took so much damage from that hunter unfortunately empower all other abilities raising the effects by one yeah okay okay what do i need to do like 20 damage 13, 0. I do 14 now. Okay. I do 15 now. So 15 is the height. Six, I can do 16 damage for 10. Okay. This guy survives once as well.
But yeah, we're not going to do 10, are we? We'll just have to get to as close as we can and then just do the damage to them. This will be good, actually. To a certain degree. So we could, oh, we may as well wait until we get that plus one damage thing. We're already on 10 here. What does he summon? Oh, one three impalers, that's not great. Next turn will be a decent amount of damage. Oh, that and... Went to the next one, which is great. Oh, this is good, actually. Because he'll do damage. He'll This will hit this guy, which is fine. So he's just dead next turn, but we're taking a little bit of damage. I can't help it. I can't help it. It just does damage to me. Oh, he's so close to just died just then, which would have been great. The, and the fact that it does damage first before he even counterattacks. I didn't realize that. I thought it'd be bad. first one attacks, then it'll get hit. Target creature. Frontline target creature and grant plus one plus one. Okay. Well, that's what we kind of said that we wanted to a certain degree. This is decent. But this could be good. I think this is good. But you're trying to deal with a whole lot of effects and you need creatures to do that to a certain degree. This would be quite good for our little uh, tormented thing. I don't mind this. We can just add it or we can rope replace something I think we replace these things we'll replace one of those okay we have to pick one After you cast or choose a spell. We could use this now, I guess. We haven't got any other front lines, though. But we don't cast that many spells. At least that synergizes with the spell that we've got, because we can use it on someone and they can attack that same turn. Okay, I've forgotten how this works. Titanic Strike.
Every time we attack, he loses one. Then he does damage from the strikes that we takes. I think he also sacrificed the lowest, just a minion. Okay. Maybe we do these two. White Voice destroys all creatures. Actually, we could do this. Because that'll. He's not going to do any damage to me this turn. What's this do? Kill the weakest unit, gain res residence equal to it. Okay. Try and get this out before he gets too many. Uh... To its attack or health? So is that going to. No, because it should drop off before his turn. What? Oh, little combo he's got there. Let's do this. Start getting that fire damage working. Uh, deal five overkill. So, yeah, that's a pain, isn't it? We could frontline this guy if he wanted to. Actually, we could do this and frontline this guy. Oh, it's only this turn. Oh no, that's that doesn't work at all. Because I can't attack with him. Adam. You can put out this guy then. Oh, and then white is gonna take everyone out as well. Because they lose all their stats. And he's gonna die instantly. Oh, he's got six though. Oh yeah, because it gets to the plus one plus one, yeah, okay. Oh, it doesn't work if he dies with it. That's a bit of a pain. Now everything is dead. We could do an extra four damage, but then everything's gone. We could actually put this guy up to seven. Do 10 damage to him as well. I feel like we could do so much more damage over a few turns by giving him like 10 damage. Wow, only cost four to give him 10. Interesting. We'll just save our money then. I guess looking at all this
We could, um... We could, um, what am I what I'm thinking? What am I thinking? If we put six health on this, we don't want him to get 18 citizens, though. So if we um, put this on one, maybe seven health, and then, I don't know, nine damage. damage. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Just like two damage. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Because then he's going to. Oh, that guy will be. No, this guy will get sucked up. Okay, actually. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that. Actually, we'll just put this guy at the front. Similar thing. Then next turn, we'll just smash out there. Should have put that guy out before this guy. 100%. 100%. For a six, what can I do? An extra one, or we couldn't fit it. Interesting. What? Why is this jumping around so much? I like this card. guy is decent all right we'll just add him to the deck all right we'll see how well we do all right guys we're jumping straight back in um what do we got here a crumbling monument 60 health not massive health obliteration i hope i don't like completely just die when I get here. Rage of the Earth. When falling below 40 life and again at 20 life, destroy an ability to advance the other rage gauges by two. Okay. Um a little bit worried about what this guy's gonna do to me. Pincer punches. Sweeping strikes obliterate. They can't just kill you in that many turns. That'd be a bit hard. Unless there's a way to kind of push it back. All right, so we'll bring out the fish. Say that. It's like, you're going to die. Okay. <coughs> Pincer punch. Deal one damage to the leftmost and rightmost enemy can hit the same target. Well, that's annoying because our guy's going to die instantly. I guess we just do it anyway. But this is the. Going to be good for that. Maybe it like does one damage per person it kills or something. Mm. Do we just play this for no reason or just to save this one one? I think so. 
One damage today is two damage tomorrow. Okay. That guy's going to die this turn. Then we've got this dude, which is going to spawn lots of dudes. Which will help us a bit. He'll be alive for one more turn. We could summon two guys. Don't think that's worth it. And we may as well attack here. Just get stuff out before we get obliterated or sweeping strike, whatever that means. Okay. So he's dead unless we buff him, which we can do. We'll buff him up. Wait, four? Oh, it's just single turn. Oh, yeah, because it makes a front line. Still, that is not... Oh, I should have done this first, but I guess it keeps that one alive. So now we can... Next turn, he can... What is it? Blow something up? Is it these ones that are going to pop open? Actually... Oh, no, I, I couldn't have done that. I should have kept that spell to put this one in front. Sweeping strikes. Two damage to all creatures. Well, that's not great, is it? Let's infect to get that going. That means he'll survive, he'll survive. The others won't. Okay. So what's he doing now? Why did this? That increased that? Oh, God. So I guess this would be quite good. So what is he going to do next? So now that's going to blow up, but then he's going to... Deal 6 overkill. An ability with overkill will deal leftover damage to the opponent directly. Okay. That's bad, but it's not the worst thing ever. This happens every turn. I'm going to take two damage next turn. No, three damage. Um, what have we got? So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, this is all we need. We took a bit, but obliterate wasn't too bad. Oh, this is pretty crap. I guess we can reroll here. Grant me plus one plus for each and fist and ignite. When it's a, when it's played, it's just a three four, which isn't that bad. It'd be great if you were playing a green, red deck. Now this one again. Probably worth it. We swap out another one of these guys. These aren't too bad though. Just take it. All right. Then the rich spice of rising from the roaring campfire. This has changed now that we're in a new area. They've got high probability. No, because this is completely different. So, I don't know. 
Unless these are all the available options, and these are cards. So we've got three shifts, potentially. I'm guessing this is going to heal me, which I kind of need. Claim quick snack or filling feast. Lose eight beetles. Yeah, that's fine. Store six life, draw a card for sake. I think this is just better. All right. Little koi fish. Wait, what? The same dude? That hasn't happened before. Okay. So with this, we know it's going to hit both edges. We may as well just play it still. We've got three similar to last time. How much damage did we take last time? I don't think we took that much. We took about four damage. And I think I'll do the same. Oh, we don't have our little three cost this time. We've got this three cost, though. Which might be better. He's just summoning something that's going to die every time. Um... Okay, so we'll get this guy out. Unfortunately, he's always going to summon something at the end. So this guy's never going to get hit until this guy's dead. Unless we get our spell and push him forward, that'd be great. Not there, though. Let's ignite now. So the sweeping does two damage to all. Plus the punches. So we're going to get quite a lot of damage coming out now. So I guess we'll get a 5-5 five five out. And then we'll put this guy out because it'll just get knocked out, which is fine. The next turn, I hope we can get this dude out. Oh, interesting. So whatever he hits, he gets taken out. Okay, put... So he won't be able to summon anything, unfortunately. Pop! Okay. Two damage. Has oh, that already happened? We might even have it right now. Yeah, we do. Okay, that was good. Um, just ten percent of the maximum enemy. This one's not bad. Might take another one of these. They give you a lot of uh, beetles. Make sure that you can kind of bake what you want. And maybe I should be using that a bit more. Oh, we're already at the altar. Well, we've got the health food kit. Okay, that gives me some good options. What's oh, a different? Oh, I see. Yeah, because of course it's different. Because we were fighting ourselves last time. Okay, so we've got... Counterattack if your opponent controls only one creature, kill it. Okay. Unify. Uh, coalesce all creature stats into one with the highest attack. Okay. Alright. So you just have to summon something every turn. Which isn't that bad. But if I attack... No, I can attack... Because he's not going to do damage to me. Wait, wait, will it kill it? No. I just, I thought, I read that wrong. And maybe if it's only attack with one unit. 
then this is going to put these into two. But then he's got other things that are going to cause problems. Which is deal damage your opponent equal to the largest creature's attack. Oh, jeez. So what should I do about that? Because if they combine these, is it all creatures into one with the highest attack? Storm gates. Add one spark token if I was not struck by a creature last turn. It would direct damage equal to the total sparks. This is this is insane. How are we supposed to kill him if we're going to take whatever damage we're doing back to him every turn? Strangling roots. How do we get rid of this? We can't. Because this will then be 10 next turn. Or 9 or 4, 8. We're going to die very, very quickly. Oh, it combines every two turns. When your opponent plays a spell, negate the activation of that card and destroy this ability. Gosh. Oh, this is only every second turn. Okay, so we've got a limited amount of time. Nothing else is bad is happening, so we could frontline. Just to get a little bit more damage out. Oh yeah, of course that's going to destroy it. Okay. Well, that might be good as well. But we're going to get so much damage. So what are we thinking? We gotta try and kill this somehow? We can't. We're taking nine damage. We've only got one more try. To take him out. I guess if we draw the uh health card. Very specific things that need to happen for us to win, and I don't think we're going to. Is it this turn or next? No, it's next turn. Oh, now that is not going to help us. We can't just kill the creature. So maybe we had to play a bit more passive. Until we got really high mana, and then we go bam, bam, bam. But, um, that's not going to save us here. But again, we get close. One more turn. So, potentially, we could have survived if we... I think it'd be good to have one reroll on a boss you could try one more try with the current deck that you've got just to see if you could play it a little bit different to win and maybe get a secondary win instead of like a primary win or something just to show you know be really proud if you did it on the first run but with some of these it's so tricky to know how it all goes okay we're dead
dead again, guys, on the last boss. Darn it. So, yeah, so you could put lots of small minions down just to do one damage a turn. Well, yeah. And even have it get destroyed and then have that spark counter go up by one. But then... Oh, I know. We could have done it easy. Now I'm thinking about it now. All you do is just don't play a minion and attack with the one dude. And then he dies and you reset it. Oh my gosh. Uh, now I'm going to get destroyed by chat. All right, that's all right. Now that I've thought about it better, I'm not trying to think about a different way of killing him. Okay. Well, we'll go again, um, and we'll see if we can unlock some of these and see what happens. And we'll see if we can get them done. So I'll have to relook at... No, we don't need to. I'll probably play the same... Maybe I'll play a... Uh red green deck and we'll see if we can incorporate some of that infest in and we'll see how we can play with that but right, cool all right guys i hope you enjoyed we'll see you in the next one bye fucking out